Hello, my name is Stephanie Moscato and welcome to the first broadcast of the ECAT Beat. Give us two minutes and we'll give you all things Easton. From the daily calendar, the Easton Board of Appeals will meet Wednesday, February 29th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. in the Selectman's Office at Town Hall. FEE, the Foundation for Excellence in Education in Easton, will meet on Wednesday, February 29th from 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Olmstead Teachers Room on Lothorpe Street. Easton School Committee will meet Thursday, March 1st from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Simmons Lecture Hall at Oliver Ames High School. Wednesday, February 28th at the Ames Free Library, Waiting for Superman will show at 6.30 p.m. The Easton Council on Aging Book Club will meet on Wednesday, the 28th at 1 o'clock at Frothingham Hall on Barrow Street. And now, news from the blogosphere. From the Easton Journal. The new Crossroads Veterans Services District members met last Tuesday. The district was formed last year after Norton and Easton lost their shared veterans agent. The state encouraged towns to regionalize services, so Mansfield, Foxborough, Easton, and Norton will now share agents. And from EastonMass.com, it looks as if the commuter rail project is still in the news. Check out EastonMass.com for the discussion. The Oliver Ames High School boys basketball team will play in the state tournament Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. at Somerset Berkeley. And the Oliver Ames girls basketball team will play Wednesday at 7 p.m. versus Fontfon. The boys hockey team has been paired against Martha's Vineyard. And here's something to look for early next month. The Children's Museum of Easton will be hosting a 20th anniversary rock and roll party fundraiser on Saturday, March 10th at the Canoe Club in West Bridgewater from 6 to 11 p.m. Contact the museum for more information. This has been the ECAT Beat. Tune in every day for the latest in what's going down in Shoveltown.